When anyone is lucky enough to rediscover a species previously thought to be extinct, it's a big deal. But when that budding scientist is just six years old, it's something else. Alex Edwards has made a name for himself as a boy who loves his beetles and butterflies. Let's join him, his sister and his brother and learn how they caught the bug. Alex, how did you get into studying bugs? Well, my dad's an entomologist, so I did what he did. What does entomologist mean? It means you're a person who catches and puts, the, puts bugs in collections. Tell me a little bit about the beetle that you rediscovered. What happened? Oh, well, we, we'd been searching amongst the tussocks and we were about to give up for that day and we were just walking back, but then I saw this puddle and I saw a beetle in it. It was lying on its back, so I decided to pick it up and take it to Dad to see whether it was the right beetle that we were looking for. And what did your dad say when you brought it to him? Um, well, um, he said, good job, now that we know um, that we can keep on searching tomorrow. And did he know straight away that it was this very rare beetle? Yes. Was he very proud of you? Yes. What was special about the beetle that you found? Well, it hadn't been found in 50 years and it was thought to be extinct. Were the other scientists excited? Well, I felt excited too um, because I, I had rediscovered something for them. Hi Mitch, what have you got there? What kind um, of... Well, I've got a cricket. I saw a real nice blue and red one, what was that? Oh, they had damselflies. And, and tell me a little bit about the damselfly. Uh, well, they're a bit like dragonflies, but they're much smaller and much easier to catch. And they sit on branches, pretending to be sticks, normally. And what about you, Alex? What's this big one here? Cicada. Oh, that's a um, red cicada, and um, they make <laughs> chirping noises. Why does it make such a big noise, do you know? I think to attract other cicadas. What about this uh, ranger dragonfly? Tell me a little bit about him. They generally live near ponds. They're quite fast flying and they fly quite high. I'm quite amazed that I caught it. Tesco, tell me what you've got there. It's a grasshopper. And how hard are they to catch? Well, pretty um, hard. And do you have to jump after them like they jump? I did with this one. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like for you when uh, Alex rediscovered that chafer beetle? It was fantastic. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, like he says, you know, we had given up. We were just hopping back in the vehicle. We'd, we'd, we'd had our look. We'd had the expedition just to get it. So um, he turned us right around. It's great. Do you think you've got three future entomologists behind us here? I think I've got three great natural historians. You know, they might pursue other things. That's OK. But they have a, have a feeling for nature, and that's the great thing. Alex's keen eye has put him into the insect history books for his incredible discovery. And the enthusiasm of the Edwards kids for lifting the lid on our native invertebrates is catching. It certainly inspired me and maybe even you. Yeah. Go away. He's gone. Good work. <laughs>